Hey YouTube, it is Dr. J. I'm here at DAJEDU and I wanted to do a quick product review on a series that I don't, I've not found a lot of homeschoolers that know about the series, but the ones that know about it love it and I think that it could really be beneficial to other kids. We don't use this as our main curriculum. This is something that we use as just a supplement to our spine for math, but that is Life of Fred. This is the Apple's book. This is the first book in the elementary series. Life of Fred is a entirely new approach to math. A lot of times with math, especially with young children, you start out with the calculations. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. They, they start out doing the calculations, doing the calculations, doing the calculations. Life of Fred takes a completely different approach. It sole purpose is to teach children the concepts behind the math not just one plus one equals two but why does one plus one equals equal two and so we start out with the elementary series um here's here's something that's in the first chapter that i think is wonderful so it starts out by letting you know fred has seven pencils okay fred five-year-old college professor the story is that ridiculous and it stays that ridiculous throughout, but that's really fun and makes kids interested in it. So we know Fred has seven pencils. So then it says, hey, look, if Fred separates the pencils like this, if five on one side, two on the other, that's still seven. Oh, my goodness. And look, if he separates them into a pile of four and three, that's still seven pencils. And then... If he separates them into six plus one, wow, that's still seven pencils. That is such an important concept for uh, young children to understand that four plus three equals seven, five plus two equals seven, six plus one equals seven, seven plus zero equals seven. That is such an important concept for children to understand. Fred gives it to them. Um, there's just, you know, there may only be a couple of math things they're called your turn to play and they will be in the book and the first one in chapter one for apples your turn to play the first question says sometimes we write six plus one is seven sometimes we will use an equal sign six plus one equals seven how would you write four plus three is seven using the equal sign what it's doing is it is teaching your child what the function of that symbol is because the plus sign the equal sign the subtraction sign those are all symbols and they are symbols that represent something and when your child understands what that symbol represents they get math they understand math I told you guys that my kids have dyslexia because they are dyslexic they sometimes have trouble with calculations but they understand the concept behind the numbers you have other kids, they are whizzes in calculations. You, you give them a sheet of 50 problems and they're going to whiz through it, but they may not understand what that really represents. Okay. Life of Fred bridges that gap. And I told you it goes all the way up through higher level math. This is the um, trig book. Um, yeah, this is trig. Okay, I bought the whole series. I, I bought it. This was not gifted to me or anything like that. We bought it because we just loved it so much. And it is true trig. It's not sugar-coated. True trig all the way through. But the story stays the same. So if your child starts with apples, it's going to follow them all the way up through trigonometry. But you don't have to be intimidated because Stanley Schmidt, who wrote Life of Fred, loves homeschoolers. That's why he has a home companion. So it's going to go through all the problems that are in the book. And it's going to instruct you as the parent into these. Here are the answers to the questions. Here is why those are the answers. Like for instance, um, for answer, one answer it'll say, since the area of the whole lake is... 1242, 1242 square feet, and since the two triangles are congruent, the area of the lower triangle is 621 square feet. 
then it tells you, you know, replace this symbol. Here's how you do it. So it's it's going to help you as the parent understand. And if you have a self-motivated learner or you have a child that's working ahead, they can have the companion book. They can see why that is the answer. Not just the calculation, but they get to understand why they did what they did to get to that answer. Life of Fred is amazing for kids because one of the things that I hear even teachers talk about so much is how kids can do calculations, but they can't do word problems. The reason why kids can't do word problems is because they don't truly understand the concepts behind those math calculations. So Life of Fred, the whole it, it is one big word problem and it's one big word problem from elementary all the way through calculus trigonometry okay so it's going to help your child get the concept behind the math they're going to not just be able to do math they're going to understand math with it the other thing i like about it is because it's a story children will want to hear it again my kids you know we've been through the apples book they will sit down and listen to the apples book again now, if you give your child a worksheet with 50 math problems, how many times do your child say, Mom, Dad, that was so wonderful. I would like to do it again. Can we? Uh, my kids like math and they don't do that. Life of Fred allows for there to be repetition that doesn't feel like repetition. It's just reading the story again. But your child is getting repetition of those math problems, repetition of those math concepts in a way that is calm and it's not a lot of craziness. The other thing, Fred understands. Every time there's a math problem, he says, get a piece of paper and try this on your own. You will write in the book. So if you have several kids, like I do, and if they don't all do them together, then that this book will last you. So again, I'm a big fan of Life of Fred. I wanted to introduce it to you guys because I think that there are a lot of kids who would do great with Life of Fred. I know some people that use it as their primary core math program. It is not what we use as our primary core math program. It is We use something else completely different as our spine. But as a supplement, it is amazing. It can stand alone, I think. It is great for a child that's really good in language arts but is afraid of math. So if you have a child that has a fear of math, Life of Fred would be a perfect fit for them. If you have a gifted child or a child that's actually really good in math, it is great for them because you may have a child, your child may be eight and your child may be ready for a pre-algebra or ready for algebra, but they don't have the stamina just because of their age to do page after page after page of problems. Life of Fred is going to be great for that child because they can just sit down at their leisure and read through it and they're getting the algebra concepts without being overwhelmed by the number of problems that they have to do. If you have a child that needs a little more help, it's wonderful because they don't feel like they're behind. So if you have, let's say you have two kids who are similar in age and the younger one is actually further ahead in math than the older child, doing it in a Life of Fred series where that older child is really be getting brushed up on the concepts behind the math, they're not walking around with a book that says, you know, mm, I'm in second grade math and my little sibling is in third grade math. That's not going to happen. They're not going to have that sort of issue. And sorry for going out of frame, but there are things like broken down to fractions. So there's a book just on fractions. So if your child is ready for fractions, um, but they're younger, great book. If your child has problems with fractions or has a problem understanding fractions, it's, you know, going to be a great book for them. It's going to talk them through it. Fred talks them through the math. And then there's a few times where they practice, but the focus is on understanding the concept behind it. So again, it starts with the elementary series. It's elementary series introduces things like time, telling time, and you just learn to tell time by Fred saying, hey, I woke up at five o'clock. Look, this is how I know it's five. The big hands on here, the little hands here. Guess what, in 10 minutes, what time is it gonna be? Oh wow, it's 10 minutes later, and this is how, you know. 
takes them around the clock, introduces them in time in just kind of a matter of fact sort of way. But it also introduces high level language. It's just a really well written book. Um, they learn about people like Archimedes. Okay, so I'm a fan. Like I said, I, I, I didn't get it for free. Um, I'm not touting it because I'm getting paid on the side. I just love it. We purchased the whole series and he's constantly adding new books and we will be purchasing books as he adds them. Um, he's doing some books on like, you know, algebra linked to physics so that you can understand it in, in those particular ways. Like I said, big fan. We're going to use it all the way through, not as our spine, but as a supplement. They're also very, to me, they're very affordable. Other people's mileage may vary, but I, I think they're really affordable. And the other thing that I like is that the author, Stanley Smith, is, he's approachable. I know a lot of people where they said, oh, I had problems with this concept, and I just sent him an email and he answered me. That's great. That's amazing. So if you're looking for kind of a different way to do math that's that's different than, um, you know, the Rystart or Rebecca or Saxon, then this is something that may shake things up for you and it may um, be a great way for you to start it. So hope that helps. Thanks YouTube. It's your girl, Dr. J, out.